This position is beside the River Orne Bridge. Here we have the actual bridge itself. Across the way there is the replacement Pegasus Bridge and the original in the museum. As you can see from the sign, that direction is Benneville and going east is Romville. This position was vital because these were the only two crossing points between the sea and Con. And as you can see today, it's still a busy road artery. Here we are looking north. Over in that direction is Cabourg. Cabourg was a direction in which Glider 96, the first glider for the River Orne Bridge, arrived. It took a dog leg route in towards the landing zone. And Staff Sergeant Roy Howard, flying it, gradually reduced height and there were 50 foot trees where they are today. He almost clipped the top of those, let the arrest of parachute, released it. That slowed the glider down even more and it came to rest in roughly this area, about 100 yards from the road itself. The men themselves, Lieutenant Fox's platoon, immediately got out of the hawser and set up a position of all round defence around the glider. And there was no firing going on, everything was silent. They then began to get across this ditch, up onto this lane. When they reached this point, a machine gun from the end of the bridge opened up and Sergeant Wagger Thornton immediately got his two inch mortar out and fired around onto the end of the bridge, which silenced the position. For some reason, they stopped a little way along and Lieutenant Fox went forward to see what the problem was and then pushed on himself. He led the men onto the road. When Dennis Fox and his men got onto the road, they came charging and screaming across the bridge, thinking perhaps that it might already have been captured by Lieutenant Sweeney or Brian Pardy's groups, but found no one. The Germans who had been on the bridge, a few of them, they just ran off down the towpath. This is the Halls of Bridge Memorial. It was here, roughly in this area, that Cyril Hazlitt, one of the engineers who had been studying the aerial photographs and noticed the disturbance in the centre of the road. So he had it in his mind to come up the road and check it to see if it was a mine or something like that. When he got here, he found that it was just a pile of horse manure. When they reached this end, Cyril Hazlitt then got under the bridge, crawled along some girders. He walked along these girders to check for any explosives there, but didn't find any. Immediately they reached the end of this bridge, Lieutenant Fox began to send his men into various positions to form the defensive bridgehead. Some here, some across there, and a few just up the road. He asked Bill Howard, Smokey Bill Howard, and one of his colleagues to come to this house to check it out. And Bill knocked on the door. After a while, a light went on, the door opened, and it was a Frenchman in his pajamas, and he could just see in the background his wife. Bill said in his pidgin French, Où est les Allemands? And the Frenchman just slammed the door straight in his face. It's highly probable the Frenchman did this because the Germans had done a number of invasion exercises where they had forces pretending to be British, knocking on doors, trying to catch French people out. That may have been the reason for his reaction. <laughs> 